Today we're going to be making a mason jar tag using the new Summertime Charm set. And I'm going to be using the mason jar stamp and I'm going to be using some of the other little elements. I apologize, my stamp set was an early stamp set so it doesn't have the image um, sheet sticker on there. And we're going to be using the matching dies that go with this set to cut out our jar and some of our elements. And I'm going to be showing you a little trick that I kind of came about on accident with the jar that's a cool little technique. So let me get my dies out and I keep them in this magnetic folder. I haven't used these dies just yet so as you can see this is exactly how they come. They're all attached together when you get them out of the package. But they're very easy to separate. All you have to do is kind of bend them back and forth um, and they'll come apart. You can also use wire cutters or those Tim Holtz uh, tonic scissors but they come apart pretty easily as you can see I'm doing here I'm gonna take them all apart so there's all my pieces and I'm gonna move those out of the way for now and I'm gonna start with my stamping so what I'm going to do is the side with the image where you normally would ink up your stamp I'm going to put that side down so I'm going to be stamping with the back side of the stamp so I'm putting the image side mounted onto the block and because this jar is hollow in the middle, there's no lines or anything, that middle is going to kind of sink down. But that's okay because this is going to give you that kind of different stamping effect that I'm going to show you here. So it kind of dips down and there's not going to be an ink in the middle. So I'm going to ink it up with the new uh, Soft Sky ink from Hero Arts. And it's just going to be getting on the edges. And you'll see what I'm talking about when I stamp it here. So I'm going to stamp it down. And you'll see it kind of has this like ghosting edge effect. So now what you can do is clean off the back of your stamp first. And then flip it over. And we're going to stamp it like we would normally stamp it. So I'm going to flip it over here so that the image is the right side up. And I'm just going to ink it up with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And then you can line it up with that blue that you just stamped and stamp it right on top. Now you can also stamp the jar first and then the blue, whichever way is easiest. Actually stamping the jar first might be a little easier because it's a darker image and it's easier to see through the clear stamp. And then you can do the blue on top of that. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just showing you the other way of doing it. Instead of blue first, we'll do blue last. Excuse my head here, I'm trying to line it up. But you can see those lines a lot better this way because you have an image to line it up with. So I'm just going to stamp out the little firefly a few times here. And I'm going to do a little coloring with some Copic markers. I have a W5 warm gray. And I'm just going to color the bodies of those little fireflies. And I'm going to use that yellow there which I believe is Y17 to color their little bottoms there. And I'm going back with the warm gray five and doing the tops of the jars. And I'm just gonna do some darker to give it a little definition. You cannot color the top of the jar and then it just looks like an open jar with the glass, with the threads of the glass there. So you kind of have a couple options. And I'm just doing a very light aqua color for the wings of the fireflies. So now we can take our dies and the dies line up with the outside edge or the edge of the die lines up with the edge of the image. So when it's cut, there'll be a little bit of a border, a very small border. So it looks like you fussy cut it out and left that white edge on purpose. And I have a cuddle bug. So the sandwich for a cuddle bug is the A plate, the B cutting plate, and then you can put your paper and then the C plate on top. So I'm just going to run it right through my cuddle bug here. And you'll see there's that little edge but it cuts really close to the image there. 
So it kind of looks like you fussy cut it with a white edge, but it also gives you a little wiggle room, you know, so you don't want it right on those lines. I love that the firefly die cuts out the antenna too. So you can see that little blue ghosting around the edge there. It's very subtle because that ink is pretty light. And I cut out the little pink scallop border thing, but I decided I wasn't going to use it. So I've just placed my fireflies. They're not glued down. They're just there so I can see where to stamp the little circle that's kind of the firefly glow from the set. And I'm just stamping it with butter bar ink. And now I'm going to use my tweezers because these are so small and my quickie glue pen. This is a ballpoint pen that's glue. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the backs of these. You could put a um, glue dot underneath them if you want to give them a little dimension. Or maybe even a foam dot if you really wanted them to stand out. But I'm just going to glue them down flat. You could also just stamp these in the jar. But I wanted to show you how to use that little die. So I've got the to and from that's in this set because we're making a tag so we're going to stamp the to and from on the back. And the back looks pretty unfinished like it is. You could leave it but since I've cut out two jars here I've just decided I think I might stack these together so that I have a jar on both sides. Now they don't line up exactly. It's not a perfectly symmetrical jar but they're really close. Close enough to where you wouldn't really tell the difference. So now I have a double sided jar and I'm going to put that little to and from and just decide where I want it on there. And I'm going to pick it up with my block and stamp it in some black ink. So I'm just going to punch a little hole in the top here now that I have these two sides glued together. And I've got a little bit of the pink lemonade lawn trimmings twine. And I'm just going to cut a length of it for the top of my tag. So I'm just going to kind of double it over and cut it so I know how long to cut it. And thread it through the hole. and then just tie a little knot at the top. So I've decided I wanted to embellish the back a little bit more so I'm going to use the solid star from the stamp set. I like that this set has a solid and an outline star as well as a solid and an outline heart. So I'm going to use that solid star and that butter bar yellow ink again and I'm just going to stamp out some stars in, on the back of the jar just to decorate the back a little bit more. And then I have some yellow stickles and I'm just going to put a tiny little bit just on the glowing rumps of the fireflies here just for a little extra embellishment. And there you have the finished tag. Now you could do lots of other things with this. This set has lots of options. You could use the label. Uh, you could stamp it on some pattern paper. Um, there's the strawberry which has a matching die so you can stamp them in the jar or you could cut them out. The same with the star in the heart. And there's a die that matches the flower as well. So you have lots of options of pieces you could put in there. You could um, stamp them on colored cardstock and die cut them out. And you have all kinds of options. And there's also the little um, scallop border. There's a solid and there's an outline. So you have some options there as well to decorate your jar. And there's also a thanks sentiment that fits perfectly in the label. So you can make a little thank you tag if you have a little gift you want to give someone to say thanks. So there's a cute little way to make a really fun gift tag. Thanks for watching.
Have an amazing day.